What's up you guys, it's Valet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, this is going to be tonight's item shop of Thursday the 19th. That's going to take us into the early morning of Friday. We're literally almost like, we've got 10 days left, 30, 11 days left until the end of the month guys. It's going to be the 20th of January tomorrow. Anyway, as you guys can see, we had the brand new Rift Warden last night. The Arachnid Bundle, the Jam Junction, Shadow Strike. What we're going to get tonight in three, two, one, let's go! Ooh, okay. We've got the return of some Marvel skins. We had these return like recently enough. But anyway, as you guys can see, we had the return of Venom. We have Spider-Man Zero. We have the Mary Jane Watson skin. We then move on to Iron Man Zero, Moon Knight. The Gods of Thunder pack, we've got Captain America, we've got the Hulk, which we had recently enough introduced, we've got Thanos, the Snap, Scarlet Witch, I was about to call it One Division. <laughs> we've got Ghost Rider, Deadpool mashup, uh, Black Widow, Dark Phoenix, Silver Surfer, Mwah, my favourite. We've got Blade, we've got the X-Force bundles, we've got Daredevil, X-23, Hawkeye, Green Goblin, Shang-Chi, Star-Lord, Gamora, Ant-Man. Really, really looking forward to the new Ant-Man, by the way. Nick Fury, Rogue and Gambit. We've got the Rogue and Gambit gear bundle. And we're not even on the featured store yet. <laughs> anyway, starting us off in the featured store, we have the return of the legendary wild card. Pick a card, any card. Part of the Getaway Gang set, first introduced in the OG Season 5. As you guys can see, we've got various different styles. So we're going in the masks first, we've got the diamond, the spades, the hearts, the clubs, and then last but not least, last year for the St. Patrick's Day, we had the lucky card style. Again, very, very cool. Moving us on to the bat bling, we have the legendary cuff case, always by your side. Again, really, really cool. As we move on to the glider, we have the safe cracker. Breaking in was the easy part. The getaway is the hard part. Anyway, really, really cool. I mean, hey, it's one way to escape is to take the whole vault door off its hinges. Anyway, really, really cool. Moving us on to the wild card wrap bundle. Nice little bundle. So anyway, you guys have the diamond wrap, as you guys can see on various different weapon models now. We have the clubs. We have the hearts. And then last but not least, we have the spades. Gonna be a bit of a silly question, but what is your guy, what is your, what is your, oh my God. What is your guys' favorite um, suit? Is it hearts, spades, clubs, or diamonds? Let me know. Bit of a weird question, but I like to know these things. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the henchman bundle. You guys know we've got the infamous shadow and ghost enforcer. Really, really cool. They do have alternate styles, pretty much where you can just give them shorts, essentially. But anyway, moving us on to the second half of the featured store, we have the return of the Cuddle Team Bundle. Now, really, really cool. Obviously, we've got the OG legendary um, Cuddle Team Leader. We've got a Harvester Tool. We've got two gliders, the Bear Force One, and we have the Cuddle Cruiser. We also have two wraps. We have the Cuddle Camo and then the Cuddly Glow, which is animated, as you guys can see. Also, if you guys can't see, we do have a bat bling, and that is the legendary cuddle bow. The reason why I'm not breaking all this down is because I covered it in its own Is It Always Not Worth It Wonder video. Check that out on my playlist on my channel. Same with all the um, Marvel bundles. I've covered them all on my channel. Anyway, well, yeah, I've covered them all on my channel. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the... Um, essentially the second half of the featured store. Anyway, we have the, Rev the Rift Warden Stellan. Um, which we had introduced last night. Funny enough, um, somebody in the comments let me know that this character is actually a boy if you do, or is actually a male if you do the brand new Oath, um, Oath Found quest. So thank you for that, because I was literally, I was gooing over this female character, or what I thought was a female character, and it's a male character. So uh, I still stand by thinking it's an absolute mwah, 10 out of 10 amazing skin. But uh, yeah, I wish it was a female. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the daily store, which most of you guys may be here for. We have the return of the Brute Gunner. 
Navigation and execution. First introduced in OG Season X, looking very, very badass. I'm gonna just say we like those, baby! Because she got those tricks. Also, this is what I call my futuristic, um, like, bat, bat girl of the future. Anyway, moving on to the return of the Safari skin. <gasps> this skin is fire. Anyway, we have the Conqueror of the Untamed, the Safari. Wild, part of the Wildest West set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. I have a special relationship with this skin. Pretty much, I'm going to go off topic here. Every time I wanted this skin, I either didn't have the V-Books, or when I had the V-Books, it never came back to the item shop. So, I'm so glad I got this eventually. Absolutely badass though, and again, give me those toes! Cheat! Anyway, really, really cool skin, absolutely love it. Oh shit, sorry. Moving us on to the alternate style. I sidetracked there for a minute, didn't I? We've got the alternate style where you can pretty much take her hat off, which again reveals her beautiful eyes. Absolutely amazing. Moving us on to the bat bling, we have the gunny sack. Locked up, sorry, locked and loaded up with goodies. I mean, again, I'm still waiting for us to get this kind of shotgun in game. It was really, really cool, like a leather action. Um, we also have a grenade on there as well. Moving us on to the harvesting tool, we have the Spectral Axe. What colour is it? First introduced in the OG Season 3. You guys know last night we had the glider that was very similar to this. We have the Smeeze Icon Series emote. Hop to it. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 4. Moving us on to the return of, pardon me, the Paper Plane Glider. Finally folded flyer, part of the calculator crew set, first introduced in the OG season seven. I can't tell you how many times we used to do this back in school. Like, I don't know whether they do it nowadays in schools, but we used to do this all the time. And that was an eight or an S with the, um, yeah, you do the three lines and then you match them off. Man, that was cool that was. Anyway, moving us on to the T pose. Usually we get this comeback whenever we have the scarecrow skins come back. Chin up and arms straight. First introduced in OG Season 6. Moving us on to the bottom half of the item shot, we still have the Uncharted bundle that is with us. We've got the game style and the film style. Really, really cool. Definitely recommend grabbing some of these guys. On the bottom half of the featured, on the bottom half of the item shot, we have the special offers bundle and we have the return of the Inkville Gang Pack. Really, really cool. But yeah, pretty much that was the special offers and bundles. And that was the item shop for tonight, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Let me know two things. One, have you got every Marvel skin that there is? The only one that I'm missing, which I probably won't ever get again, is the original OG Black Widow. And also, again, like I said earlier, which, which is your favorite playing card suit? The heart. The diamond, the clubs, or the spades. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get no further streams that load. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey, and I'll see you in the MCU. Peace.